It is a grace from Allah to bring out a Christian from his or her religion into Islam. If you are one of those that is enjoying that grace now, just say hashal underscore amdal ilahi. To say the truth, it is not easy for a Christian to become a Muslim with all atrocities like prostitution, drunkenness, stealing, scamming, nakedness, lying, makeup, indecent dressing etc., that surround Christian community or which they spread all over the world and which is one of the reasons why they turned the Muslim nations to their enemies. We have some Muslims who left Islam because of makeup, they reiterated on the fact that they can't just be always washing their faces after applying the makeup or pancaking their faces. They forgot that maggots are waiting for them inside the grave. We have those that call the Muslim sisters different names because of their hijab or jabab. They even ask them if they are not feeling the heat. They forgot that the heat in the grave in this world is more terrible than the one they can experience in this world. I heard a Muslim sister who said that whenever she puts on her jabab, she does not feel the heat even under very intensifying heat. That is a grace. Raised back of hand medium skin tone I asked a question sometimes ago that at death point, what should be the last statement that must come out from your mouth as a testimony to his oneness, holiness, uniqueness etc. Many people uttered out their minds, my brothers and sisters in all faiths, let me give you this godly advice. At death point, if you there utter something different from what will give him his all-deserved honor and praises like, hash laa underscore ilaha underscore ilalahu, Muhammad rasullullahi believe it or not, your end is in danger, my message is mainly directed to you Christian, let me beg of you to please embark on a deal of inquirements to know what and what are required of a righteous and dutiful servant of the Almighty to have eternal bliss but I am privileged to plead of you now that no good end awaits that person that bear witness to the creature of all creator is his or her god at death point, Pharaoh, an arrogant king who will come to the public to boldly deny the existence of the Almighty Allah tried to boycott his already dared punishment at the last hour of his living in the Red Sea by trying to utter laaiilaahailaallahu, his mouth was blocked immediately but maybe because he was able to utter few of it that was the reason Allah said he's going to preserve his body for the coming generation to see and learn from. Pharaoh's body was later recovered from the Red Sea and now kept in a place called Valley of the Kings in Egypt. In conclusion, no good end awaits anybody that lives this world outside Islam because it is the only God-sent way that is characterized with nothing but divinely order of true worship. Allah said, if the dwellers of hell fire are questioned on Judgment Day, why were they condemned into hell fire fire? They will say it is because we rejected and abandoned, so lot, may all of us end it well.